channel. So today I wanted to do this look. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just did it. That was that. It is now March and I don't wear a whole lot of green on my face. I saw complimentary colors to green are going to be maroons, purples, obviously greens as well, browns, things like that. So that's probably what I will incorporate more into my March looks. But anyway, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep watching. But first, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified when I post. And uh, all the links to my social media are in the description below if you are interested. Okay, okay, go watch now. So this is the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I am new to this, I'm just trying this out actually. And I really like it. It's very, it's almost tingly. It has tea tree and vitamin something. Yeah. Okay guys, I wasn't planning on doing a voiceover, but you know, I was really rushing through this because I started running out of time. But anyway, okay guys, listen. Here's the thing. I went and got color matched for this foundation and it was perfect. But then I went and got a tanning pass, went tanning a few times, and uh, did this video and realized homegirl needs a new foundation shade. So just ignore that. It's way too light. I do bronze it up at the end, but that didn't even help. So anyway, this is the Kat Von D foundation that I have a love-hate relationship with. I love it when it's first on, but then it just, it's horrible throughout the day. It doesn't stay. So this is a little technique that I've been doing with my brows just to get the shaping and things like that. You guys know all the tricks. <laughs> Do you guys like the little line on my... This is what I'm talking about. That foundation just does not stay. But anyway, I'm just going to go through this quickly. But yeah, I just kind of put the marks in, fill them in, um, and then I go back in with the Anastasia Dip Brow. And my son lost my brush, so it was interesting doing that. But um, anyway, my brows are not the best, but basically I like the whole faded look. And before you guys say anything where they're a little close together, but I go through and fix the middle, so just chill out. And I, I think I forgot to record that part, but I would take that brush and just like go through the middle and then it kind of gives that faded out look, if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe I haven't done it yet. Hold on, let me just keep watching this video and I'll let you know. <laughs> there we go. That's what I do to kind of, so that it's not so close together. So chill out with your comments, okay? Which I'm probably still gonna get some because everyone's so picky with the brows. Okay, now for the eye look. So I'm going to go in with this shade in the Morphe 350 palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. I use this one all the time. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of laying down the foundation. I just kind of pop it in the crease to give a good foundation to give a blurred, buffed out um, look. So anyway, so there's that. So then I'm going to go in with the Outer V brush from Makeup Geek. And this is a very warm brown. It's almost, it's not even really orangey. I would just say warm brown and I just kind of put that a little bit more definedly defi is that a word probably not more defined <laughs> into that outer V also in the crease just kind of starting the drawing out that crease okay so then I'm gonna take a different brush let me see what it was so this is the defined crease brush by makeup geek as well and I'm gonna take that dark shade and the one next to it kind of mix them together um, and then I'm going to pop that into the crease. So what I was doing, I was kind of going for a different technique here. So I'm really keeping it very precise into the crease and then kind of drawing it out, almost like starting a wing. Um, when I sat down to do this, I had something in mind, but then I just, like I said, started running out of time. I had a photo shoot and it just turned into not what I was looking for, but it still is a great look. So anyway, so I ended up, I just kind of turned the brush the other directions, direction and then just kind of um, feather it out, buff it out, blend it out, you know what I'm saying. And then I take my actual blending brush by Makeup Geek and just um, blend that out. I didn't put any other product on yet, but I do in a minute. So I just kind of blend it out, clean it up with that same foundation brush. And then I'm going to go in with that main bronzy color. I love this shade, okay? I love it. But I take it on my finger because I feel like my finger kind of is better. I didn't use a glue or anything and it stayed all day. But I feel like brushes can kind of not distribute as much pigment as I would like. So by using your finger, it kind of, you know. Okay, so then that first color we used in the very beginning, that's what I'm going to take to help blend out and make this look more seamless and pull together. And then I take the white shade in the Morphe 350 palette and I pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that pop that <laughs> under the brow 
in the inner corner to kind of brighten it up. Then I'm gonna take this little pencil brush and I'm gonna put that bronze shade on first in my lower lash line. I kind of drag it out just past the middle. And then I take the dark and keep that on just the outer, clean everything away. Use my e.l.f. mascara because I have eyelash extensions. And then I'm gonna bronze this up a little bit. I'm using the bronzer that's in my hand. It's the Too Faced. Um, I believe this is milk chocolate. Um, but yeah, I've been loving this a little bit better than the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette because this foundation does not like the Shade and Light Palette. I don't know why. But this is just a quick little contour, very not precise, just kind of popping in some color. Okay, Nicole Cosmetics, you guys, I talk about these lipsticks in almost every single video. I have, I got her whole line, so I have all the shades, so that's just always what I grab. They're so amazing. <laughs> okay, well this one is in the shade Amorous. Amorous? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's very pink. And normally, I don't wear pinks on my lips, especially hot pinks. I don't know, they're not my fave. So I laid that down as a foundation, and then I went in with this Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in the shade... Hold on, brain fart. Hold on. In the shade Lolita. Very popular one last year because of Jaclyn Hill. Um, but yeah, I loved this combo. And it just kind of made this bronzy look look a little bit more pink. And... I don't know, I just love the combo. It wasn't quite ombre, but anyways, this is the finished look and yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that and got something out of it, learned something new. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And yeah, make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps support my channel. And until next time, bye guys.